Libras, welcome to the March predictions. We are going to be pulling you a crystal card for the month of March. Your crystal is Celestite. This is a throat chakra crystal. It is a angelic healing and protection crystal. It helps you to connect with your guardian angel to know that you are safe, protected, guided, and loved. If you're struggling in the month of March at all, remember you're not alone. Your guardian angel and your spirit guides are always with you. Your higher self has the innate wisdom to help you decipher what it is you should do and what steps you need to take to move forward. So lean into spirit, listen to their messages, ask them for their guidance, ask them to send you a sign, let them know that you're willing to work with them, that you want to work with them, that you're present and you're ready because you are. Now, this could also be a really good crystal for working on release, which takes us to some sort of aspect of our shadow selves that you need to lean into this month. You need to lean into embracing this aspect of your shadow self in order to work on healing and moving forward. Hmm, this is about letting go of masks. I think as humans, we all wear different masks. You know, we show people different aspects of ourselves. We show people different aspects of our personalities. Um, and we do that as a form of protection. We do it as a form of just fitting in socially. You know, we're taught naturally since early development as a child to wear certain masks. You act this way, you do this, you say that. Um, but it's not who you are as a full. It, like honestly the only person who knows you as the full picture of you and all the sides of you is you you may have certain sides of yourself though that you really don't like anymore it may be something that you just feel like is keeping you stuck it's not helping you to grow as a person you don't like this side of yourself you're disappointed in the side of yourself the side of yourself brings up feelings of shame and guilt and all those gross things we don't want to feel over here. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Um, and this is really about learning to take those masks off, take down that protection, take down that, um, it's really not protection. We think it's protection, but it's not. It's, it's, it's keeping us from forming those really deep connections with others that are going to be important to sustaining relationships long term with people you may tend to um emotionally react or explode or um, cut people off too quickly sometimes you need to just take a moment take a breath take a night turn the phone off let yourself think <laughs> or not think get a bubble bath running take good care of yourself lean into that because this is going to be the month of balance and of finding the yin and yang balance within yourself within wearing all these masks and within showing all these aspects of yourself and letting go of the parts of yourself that you dislike, embracing those parts, seeing what you can do to change them, allowing people to see the real you, letting people into your space, into your heart, being more open. This is going to be sometimes a difficult part of change, but a necessary part of change. This is going to be a deep part of your soul growth for the month of March. And I feel like it's super important to lean into that. Show others who you really are because you are such an amazing, wonderful person. Your tarot card just flew all the way over here. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. This month, you want to be a mother to yourself and a mother to your inner child. The Six of Cups represents a motherly figure that's you. This could be your inner child. This could be a physical rep representation of your actual child. This could be someone else's child or some sort of relation that's symbiotic to that. So the six of cups represents a sense of balance. That is so funny. It's the six of cups right in the middle between one and 12 um, or one and 10. I, what am I saying? Um, the six of cups. So the six of cups represents balance, that yin and yang energy of creating in our lives, more balance, more space for the things that really matter, the people that really matter, letting go of excess conflict and stress. We need more energy to concentrate on the things that are important <laughs> because there's maybe been too much energy spent on things that aren't. Um, this can also be a really good message for the month of March to work on breaking bad habits. Yes, bad habits can be hard to change. Um, cycles that we tend to find ourselves repeating can be hard to break, but these behavior patterns are things that can be worked with. Um, they can be, or worked through rather. 
So give yourself the grace to say, it's okay that I blew up that one time, or it's okay I acted impulsively, but you know what? Maybe next time, I hope I don't as much, or maybe next time I'm going to do this differently, or I'm going to try to make my response a little bit easier on the other people around me. That's going to help have such a more positive outcome for you. I'm going to give you a positive ma uh, mantra or affirmation you can use this month, Libra. This is going to be all about balance, okay? I understand and embrace the opposing forces in life that bring about balance. I hope that that helps you. I hope you have an amazing month during March. Let me know down below what was your favorite part of this reading. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.